Hey, this is Rod from Ram City. In this four minute video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the RAM in this old compact Evo. So we're gonna go from 256 megabytes of RAM up to 784 meg. So this computer, my kids use it, they find it a bit slow. I'm gonna add some memory in it to give it a bit of a performance boost so we don't have to throw it away. So let's start off with the things you'll need to do the upgrade. The first thing is a ESD strap. This is a good idea to prevent any electrostatic discharge from damaging your machine or your memory modules. And the next thing is, of course, your memory upgrade. This is a single 512 megabyte module from Kingston, which you can also get from our website. So let's get started. We're gonna to need to get one side of the case off. You won't require a screwdriver for this particular model, but there are a couple of thumb screws to remove. So there is one at the top and there may also be one at the bottom, you need to take that one off. And in addition to that, this machine is in its format with a pedestal on, so you need to remove the thumb screw that attaches the pedestal. So that particular screw doesn't come all the way out, it just loosens and you remove the pedestal like so. Now that we've removed the thumb screws, we can slide the case off. So I had this up the wrong way, so I've got to turn it over and you simply slide the side of the case backwards, just using your fingers and thumbs, and eventually it will come off. And just lift the case away, put it to one side, and the memory slots are just out of shot. They're just where I'm pointing there. Now I'm just putting on the ESD strap. One end goes around your wrist, and the other end has a sticky label on it. You'll need to remove that, and then you apply the sticky part to the metal part of the case and that'll make sure that you're protected against any electrostatic discharge. Now we can go ahead and handle our modules, take them out of their anti-static clamshell and always handle them by the edges. Now that we've got the module out of the clamshell, note there's a slot here on the module that needs to line up with the guide in the memory slot in the machine. That's where I'm pointing to with the pencil there. And you also need to make sure the clips on either side of the memory slot are out so that you can insert the module. Now, inserting it is fairly straightforward. Just place it in perpendicular. Obviously, if the guide doesn't line up with the slot in the module, you need to flip it around so that it does line up because it is off center. And then once you've got it initially placed in, then you just need to push down on either end. So once you push down, the clip will go into the side of the module and hold it in securely and the same with the other side. You see it does require quite a bit of pressure. But it's very important that it's installed firmly to ensure proper connectivity and performance of the module. Okay, now that our module is installed, we can remove the ESD strap from the case, put the lid back on, just reverse the procedure used to remove it and it is a bit tricky this machine you need to persevere with it but basically just need to position the lid on and then slide it in and we put back in our thumb screws and the pedestal And that's it, mission accomplished. This machine now performs a whole lot better and the kids really like it. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please put a comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below as well. And thanks for watching.